All right, guys, we're bringing it to you from Sprawl Plaza. In case you didn't catch the couple videos before this, all of my videos are Creative Commons. You have the right to distribute them freely however you wish. Upload them, download them, color them purple for all I care. Just, just share this message that we don't need to be fighting in the streets. We need to be unified. And, and I like what I saw yesterday, I like what I see today. Is people are not fighting, but they're actually engaging in open dialect. Uh, we got people on the left and the right having conversations, uh, finding common ground. Uh, Joey Gibson led a march yesterday. You can see my videos before that of, of that, just after Yvette Falarka's arrest, in which we went to People's Park and stood on the stage. Uh, he, he allowed uh, this guy with the anti-fascism, the big poster, he allowed that guy to take the stage and, and, and spit whatever views he feels he wants to speak. Uh, here we are on the steps of Sprawl Hall in the middle of Sprawl Plaza. Uh, we have we have the left, the right, and everyone in between who, who's out here. And everyone's being allowed to speak. This this truly is uh, free speech. Uh, no one's shutting anyone down. We got the empathy guys. Yeah, we're here. I couldn't get parking nearby for the tent. So. Okay, so your tent's not here today, but you guys are here. And... Yeah, I'm here, and we got it. A couple blocks down, so I'm gonna kind of wait till I can get parking and bring the tent and set it up. Okay, so, uh, yeah. do, do you know what today's event was? I just saw cops headed this way, so I ran up here. Um, uh, it was, I think, the Patriot Prayer, some were kind of speaking out and the, the uh, no to refuse fascism. So okay. it's a bit of a dialogue. Thank hey. you for doing this. Oh, yeah, that was I great. do. It was yeah, it was great for you guys coming by. We really enjoyed it. It's, it's open for everybody. We want the whole world to come. Can, can I ask something? You guys just shook hands. Would you yeah. call yourself a, le a right, a right a conservative? I'm a libertarian. Okay, uh, I, I'm a libertarian. Okay. So, <laughs> like a classical yeah. liberal. Uh, I'm open-minded. I don't believe like you know we should be forcing our views upon someone else. Well, that's actually the found uh. one of the founding principles of Patriot Affair is the fact that just because we disagree on something doesn't mean that you should be able to bring violence against me or me to you. We want to bring people away from the alt right or the alt left, doesn't matter the side. That the political violence that's going on is completely unacceptable in our civil discourse. I, I agree on that, man. And that, that's, Fist bump. Really, that's that's pretty much what it's all about. It's like, listen, we have the right to speak. Spending eight hundred thousand dollars to bring about security because why? We said something you disagree with. We didn't hit anybody. In fact, if you go to every single Patriot Prayer rally, none of us are ever arrested. Why is that? Why is it that Antifa is? In Portland on September 10th, seven of them were arrested. Here in Berkeley yesterday, there was four of them. Why is it every single time that we are displayed as being dangerous or uh, violent extremists or any kind of any kind of name under the sun, and yet we're never arrested, and they are, and yet they are considered the uh, the new wave of people storming Normandy against fascism? Well, we've reached out to you guys, and we've tried to reach out to Antifa. It's really how do we kind of reach out to each other and create dialogue? I actually, really. I actually encourage you if you have a cell phone. You can do it right now. It's a Google the Seattle Times made a peace choice. Yeah, it's actually the very front page of the Seattle Times. Me smoking weed with Antifa. Yeah, trying to bring them and a Trump, and a Trump supporter together. Yeah, I was on the Dory Monson show just for that reason. Oh yeah, that was you. That uh, I, that was here in Berkeley. On that was in Seattle Mayday. Okay, Seattle. I, I seen, I seen, I saw that video. Yeah. And so it's important. Yeah. Because people need tools too, and I think that's what we try to offer with the empathy. Tent. It's like we had a, with Joey, we had a an empathy circle, not just in the tent, but beforehand with one of the with the counter uh, protest organizers in San Francisco. We actually had a mediated discussion, which was very civil and very. Um, they were really hearing each other. So may I ask one question? Yeah. Okay. So what was your opinion then of Yvette Falarka and a number of her team and BAM coming in and attempting to disrupt that, not yeah. even allowing a member to speak? Isn't that antithetical to the empathy system? Yeah, it, 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 and sometimes people need empathy. And in that situation, they don't maybe have capacity to, to listen. Is, is and I want to offer listening to them, too. But so I am glad that they come to the tent but we and to bring their passion. Well, she didn't want a dialogue. That was that was a problem there. So, so I would. Uh, so she didn't fit up to the standards of the effort. Yeah, and I would like to have a dialogue with her uh, about.
love to bring her and you together to have a dialogue. Absolutely. Joe or your wife. I mean, that's really the intention. If you vet it's, Falarka, yeah. how about this? From, uh, from Kyle Broussard from Seattle, Washington. If you vet Falarka, ever would genuinely have a discussion with someone who is willing and able to listen and accept her ideology as it is and, and steel man her, not straw man her, not, not put her down to sit or misrepresent her views, but genuinely have a discussion, hear her, and actually grant a rebuttal and actually have a civil discourse, a civil discussion, and bring about some of what uh, Patriot Prayer wants, which is bringing civility back to the political discourse. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we, that's exactly, we even take it a step farther to offer empathy, not just civility, but it's a deeper sense of connection, and that's what we're trying to foster. So civility is a good step, you know, Absolutely. first step. So we want to, we really feel that if you can bring, come together, and I'm so grateful that you are out there reaching out to dialogue and, you know, listen. And to take it, you know, to have like these empathy circles together is what we try to do. Using having, sometimes people need a bit of a structure to hold the container, and that's what we're kind of like offering. Right? I, I've been called the skinhead more times than I can count. I've got alopecia areata, I can't grow hair. And so I kind of picked up the moniker of the virtuous skinhead because I'm willing to listen. Yeah, yeah. So, and I, it, we have, you came to the empathy tent, Joey was willing to listen in dialogue. And we want to keep that going. So I, I really appreciate that. Absolutely. That was a discussion between, uh, would you call yourself a liberal? Edwin, I'm on the left. I, I grew up as a conservative, moved to the left. I would say I'm moving to the empathy well, spectrum, saying okay, that we okay. need to really, you know, bring people together. So it's kind of like the empathy. Well, that was a conversation with the empathy guys and one of the Patriot Prayer guys. We are here in Sprawl Plaza. It, uh, I believe it's just afternoon. There, there's been no violence. The police have not had to interject. It's the people up on stage uh, speaking their their, their minds. Uh, we got Black Lives Matter. We got Refuse Fascism. And the the guy I uh, I said I had a Trump hat yesterday, and I, I was mistaken. It's a USA hat. Which, what about free speech? Which is a funny thing. I bet he gets called a uh, a fascist for having a. a USA flag. Yesterday he was trying to pass out flags to uh, to people. He tried to shake a hand with a, 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 a black homeless man's. Uh, he offered to buy him a drink, but the uh, the homeless man refused. You can see my video about that yesterday. I'd hate to see Hillary in the in the White House, but man, I wouldn't like wouldn't mind having a uh, burrito truck on every corner, man. Like, uh, Mexican food is my favorite food. I, I eat like five burritos a week. Shout out to Taqueria Los Galos from Concord, my uh, my burrito shop. Then why are you speaking hate speech? The guy was just literally hating on the Latinos for Trump. Uh, but then they say, you know, free speech doesn't protect hate speech, but they spit a lot of hate. Uh, a lot of targeted hate. I, I see it from both sides. And, Oh, I gotta say hi to the, whoever this guy is here. It's, 
This guy's got an Arpature shirt on. I gotta, 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 gotta shake his hand just for the shirt. <laughs> In case you don't know, that's that's from Portal, uh, Portal 2, Valve, Valve game. Uh, there's actually uh, Counter-Strike and, and the, the Steam open source community that I, uh, man, got me involved in, in, in open source. Uh, that's why all my videos, all my, all my apps I create on the Google Play Store, they are open sourced. You're free to download all my videos, re-edit re them, upload them any way you like. Now we have some, uh, some Patriots, uh, they're singing.